Good morning, dear students, and uh, welcome back to your uh, next part of your chapter, Geometrical Constructions. The last time we saw how to draw perpendicular bisectors for a given line. Uh, you have also drawn a perpendicular bisectors for acute angle triangles, obtuse angle triangles, and for right angle triangles. You have found out the position of the circumcenter. Uh, in an acute angle triangle, the circumcenter is inside the triangle. In an obtuse angle triangle, your circumcenter lies outside the triangle. And in a right angle triangle, your circumcenter is on the triangle. Okay? So that was what we have, or that is something that we have already covered. Now let's move on to the next part, which is angle bisectors. Uh, how to draw angle bisectors, this was something that you already learnt in the fixed standard, so just let's quickly revise it. Okay, uh, we can draw an uh, angle. Let's suppose that uh, we take an uh, angle of uh, 60 degrees. Okay, so we draw one first ray, let's give it a name as B C. We want to draw an angle of 60 degrees, so we will keep the zero mark on the point B and measure 60 degrees, we will put a mark at 60 degrees and then we connect that mark to the point B, we will give it a name over here point A. So the measurement of this angle is 60 degrees. Now we want to draw a angle bisector. First of all, what is the meaning of the word bisector? Bisector means two parts. So we want to divide this angle into two equal parts such that both the equal parts are 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? First, we take your compass again. You take the compass, keep it on point B and draw up on this side and on this side of your angle, okay? You got two arcs. Then you place your pointer on this arc and make one more arc, okay? You got, and let's draw it once again. Place your pointer on this arc and draw another arc over here. Then keep your pointer on the second arc that you have drawn and cross the arc which you had just drawn. Okay. And then you take your ruler. This point, this X mark, has to be connected to your point B. Okay. Now, when you measure this, you have got two angles. Let's give this a name as X. So you've got two angles now. Angle A, B, X and angle X, B, C. Let us measure and find out if they are both 30 degrees. We'll keep the measurement over here, the, the zero mark on point B, 30 degrees. And then we keep this on point C again this and 30 degrees. Okay? So both these angles are 30 degrees each. So I'll just make a mark over here. This is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees. Okay? So this is how you draw your angle bisectors. You first draw your angle, then keep your uh, compass on point B, make your arc, then keeping your compass further on the arc, you make another two arcs, you get your X mark and from the X mark you join your point B and this gives you your angle bisector. This is your angle bisector. So we have to write down now that segment BX is the angle bisector for angle a, B, C. So we've written down what we have drawn. Please copy it down. As I said before as well, when you copy it down, you can pause the video, do your construction, and then continue with the video. So please do this construction right now. Okay, we 
continue further.
now we continue further we will now be drawing triangles and in a triangle you know that you have three angles so we will be drawing the the angle bisectors for all those three angles of our triangle Pointer on the second arc, 
and another arc over here. So we've got arc forward x mark as well. And we'll connect this third x mark with the point P. So adjust your ruler correctly and draw your straight line. Okay? So let us give our names. Let us call it as A, P, and C. And if you see, all the angle bisectors are getting connected to each other in one single point. We'll give this the name as point I. And this point is called as the in center. So we'll have to write about it now. I'll write it over here. Point I point I is the in center for triangle P Q R. Okay, so this is how you will do the construction for acute angle triangle. For obtuse angle triangle and for uh, right angle triangle, you will do the uh, construction yourself. And uh, what I will do is that uh, after one or two days, I will do the construction on a paper and send it across to you on WhatsApp so that you can check if you are also getting a similar type of a drawing. Okay, so I want you to copy this down and then you can do it for uh, for an obtuse angle triangle and for a right angle triangle. And uh, that will be the end of uh, our uh, lesson for today. We will continue further in the next uh, video. Thank you. Thank you.